Hey, how's it going? Observer Canadian here. I'm John. Um, fellow by the name of McCartney Survival. Uh, he's actually got a pretty good channel. He put out a a challenge for a one-handed fire starter, and he's also got another challenge for a one-stick fire start. So I'm going to give the uh, the one-hand fire start a try here. Only I'm not going to use uh, my strong hand, which would be I'm right-handed. So I'm going to try and do everything left-handed. And uh, I originally was going to do this just in my backyard, but I thought, yeah, not too many people need to build a fire in their backyard. So <laughs> I'm out here, and it is nasty, wet. I think only two days out of the last two weeks it hasn't rained. So I'll just give you a quick look. The area I like to go in, what it looks like right now. <laughs> so you can see it's wet everywhere. I just happened to find a high spot here and even the high spot is wet. But I'm going to do my best. I'll try and get it done. So when I return, I will be set up to try and do it. Uh, I'll collect everything using only my left hand. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so this is for McCartney Survival. This is the only knife I brought with me. Small redhead. Nice little knife. I like using it. Okay, I got a little bit of kindling here. Just some dead stuff I found laying around. So what I'm gonna do is put it in here. All right, so I'm gonna do everything left-handed. So I got that out. Now, anybody that likes doing stuff in the outdoors, you, uh, you always carry a backup for starting fires. Um, it's actually raining. Now, when I got out here, it wasn't, but like I said, it, it's rained almost every day. It's horrible. Um, I've never seen a spring this wet, and it's like not just this area, it's all over Ontario, northern New York State, uh, western Pennsylvania, Ohio. Alright, so a knife's in there. Now, like I said, everybody carries, you know, a couple of ways to start a fire. I could cheat. Um, I'm like everybody else. I've got a couple of ways to start a fire here. I'm only going to use my uh, left hand to do all of this. So, I got a wrist bracelet that's uh, got a flint, a striker on it. I use a cordage, it'll start a fire that matches, waterproof. And, uh, huh, my lighter's not in the bag anymore. I think I took it out. No, no, it's in a different part of the bag. It's right here, in the front part. So, thick lighter. Uh, I got some stuff here from Sasquatch, SOS, their fire bracelet, fire cordage. But I'll put all that away. I couldn't decide if I'm going to use the uh, gob spark from uh, Fire Steel, or I'm just going to use their big ferro rod. I'm going to try that once I get set up something I always carry and I am going to cheat with these since it is raining um, cotton I'm not allowed to use my right hand anymore this is going to be fun anywho I've got two teenage daughters at home my wife so I get access to all these little cotton pads cotton balls are a little better put a little Vaseline on them and they will burn so I'm going to keep them in a plastic bag right now. Set anything down in here, it gets covered. Um, it's not a great place. Okay, i, I got to find a piece of wood here. And I'm going to do a little trimming on it. I'm not used to, you know what, there's one right behind me. 
everything is wet. I don't even know if this will work. It might I'm gonna change legs here. As you can see, my knife is pretty sharp. This, uh, this wood is wet deep into it. Yeah. Now, I figured I would do it out here because let's face it, um, you're out in the woods and if you fall and uh, you hurt yourself, odds are you're going to uh, fall and hurt your predominant hand. Now I have never tried this before using my left hand, so I'm going to see if I can do it. And. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if this will work. Everything is so wet around here. Pants are already dirty, so. <laughs> My wife will kill me when she gets the laundry. Uh, I can see lots of deadfall around here and that. It's just, I'd have to go through a swamp to get to most of it. So. And anything pretty much laying on the ground is soaking wet. That's why I decided I was going to uh, use the cotton. Um, we always make sure we keep some cotton around. Yeah, this this wood is wet. All right. Well, hopefully this works. Uh, cotton is one of the best things you can use. So if you've got Teenage girls go raid the room. I just told mine before I left what I did. She uh, she really wasn't impressed with me. If I drop that, but I outweigh her by about 90 pounds. And uh, yeah. I weigh her by about 90 pounds and she's still almost six feet tall. All right, doing this with one hand is, this is not fun. But this is for you, Mason. I told you I would try it. Don't know if I can do it. I am gonna cheat a little bit here. You might not count it, but we'll do it. All right. So I thought it was hard getting this stuff. Now, mind you, I'm not going to have a, a big fire. In fact, I clear a spot here, just off to the side. I see if I can do this all with one hand. Got my cup. I did bring uh, my simple stove and I don't feel like leaving it on the ground this time. So what I did is my little solid fuel stove. Can I even get it open? <laughs> yeah, I don't even think I can get it open with one hand. There we go. Okay, setting that up. Now, the one thing I don't want to do is spill any of this on me and then try and start. Okay, just for safety, I'm using two hands. There we go. Um, I probably could have done it. I also probably could have had it all over me. And that would not be cool. 
Okay, so what I did, I put my simple stove cube in there. I put the lid back on this. Just move it out of the way. <sighs> this would be so much easier if I really had two hands to use. Uh, I get water all over me, but all right. So it's just a little more than a cup of water in there. That over here. Hey, I'm stuck into me everywhere. This one I will use my lighter. There we go. Now, hopefully I don't spill it. Anywho, not using instant coffee. Cuju. So, this is, uh, this coffee's made from Papua New Guinea, the beans come from. And I've had this before and it actually tastes pretty good. It's no bitter aftertaste. I'm getting soaked out here. Don't worry, I'll be cleaning it all up. So I usually bring my daughter out for these things. <laughs> Sydney's good at all this stuff. Alright, so it comes in a pouch. Uh, it actually has got wings on the side. So you can put it over the top. So you actually pass it through. I'm just going to try tossing this in. All right, let's see if we can get a fire going here. <sighs> now, this is a bit of a pain. Get everything set up. Okay. There we go. that one out of there all right well got the cotton started you should start someplace now, like I said it is so wet out here I don't even know if the, uh, the wood will catch I'm hoping it does Now, McCartney Survival didn't say how long we had to keep it going for. He's going to say I'm cheating, and I'm going to have to redo this. And, of course, the wind picks up. Now, wood's just too wet to catch. All right, so we're going to have to go with a plan B. Yeah, there's still a bit of the cotton. That's why cotton balls are a lot better. All right. Plan B. Ah. Okay, the leaves will be way too wet around here to even try starting something like that. So, give me a few minutes and I will see what else I can work on. All right, I'm back from my little foraging expedition. Uh, I'm still going to try it with the cotton. Um, now I'm dirty and wet. Oh well. If you were out in the woods and you were stuck you wouldn't care would you? So, um, cotton balls are a lot better than these cotton pads. I think I'm gonna have to stick with cotton balls. I have to talk to my uh, my daughters and tell them to stop buying cotton pads. Mind you, a uh, a bag of cotton balls is like a dollar, and uh, I don't know, you get a hundred of them in it. 
so it's not a bad investment. Uh, cotton balls, a little um, Vaseline on them, and it's uh, supposed to help. So what I do is I get that one in there, keep the other one that was partially burnt on it. I'm gonna see if I can get something off the stick here. And then I I gotta go pick up my daughter when I'm done here. She's at work and she is making me my uh, my birthday dinner tonight. I should have, should have brought out my big knife. But you don't always have what you want with you when you're uh, stuck in the woods, do you? So that's why I kind of went minimal here. Uh, maybe once I get my coffee, I'll feel better. There we go. I found uh, a branch. up in the tree and it was actually just hanging there it wasn't even attached anymore so I don't know if it fell from higher up or what but it got stuck in the tree see this is one of the nice things about having a sharp knife all right on it. That's some nice curls on it. So, yeah, I'm going to cut my hand. I keep doing that. Some little chunks and some curls. My fishing license today too, me and my wife. We got four weeks. Four weeks from yesterday actually. Now we're going on our annual fishing trip. Just me and her. No kids. Alright, here we go again. It'll go this time. That just can't get enough. Even with the uh, I'm not finished yet. <laughs>
that kind of feels dry is not dry. Still trying. Yeah, there's just uh, everything's just way too wet right now. Maybe I can get it. But if I absolutely had to, uh, I got a fire candle in there. It's good for one time only. And yeah, looks like you know it's gonna catch. And like I said, this wood is so so wet around here right now. They like say weeks of rain. Alright, we got a fire. Won't go up now. So there we go. Okay, Mason, two tries to get it done. Um, my coffee is pretty much ready. Just sitting here playing with it. Nice looking coffee. Yeah, we got the wood starting to catch now. So that's good. Just keep adding to it, as long as the wood is finally caught. Now, what I did is I cleared out a spot and it's got a root here. So what I might do if I was staying here, um, I would move my fire off the root. Uh, it's not good to have a root fire. Not good at all. That's uh, that's what keeps forest fires going. Okay, so I got enough here. I could keep it going. I would be collecting more, more stuff as this was going. I would probably. Also not do it on this side of the tree. Um, I'm right in between two trees. So I'll put that away. And you know what? I gotta grab my coffee. I have to put that in my coffee bag. I didn't want to open it this time. I wanted to see if it would work like this. I haven't tried it like this. All right. Get my fire cube out. And it's warm in the middle, but I can still hold it. Uh, 2788 for three of these get them from uh, luxury um, simple stove is what it's called and you just use some methyl hydrate or alcohol and you can see they don't blacken the bottom of your cup at all 
So my fire's going. I could make it bigger. I'm not going to. Um, that wasn't the plan. It was just a plan to see if I could get it started using my left hand. And some of the things I got here, I would have not an issue. Uh, like I said, I've got a lighter, got matches. Um, yeah, so this is the way it comes from fire steel. You got the ferro red, magnesium, and the striker all on one cord. Those are great. I love this thing. This thing's nice and thick. Um, you want something a little different, Gobspark. This is also from Fire Steel. These things are excellent too. Um, I'm not sure about the Sasquatch stuff, if they're still even in business. Um, I tried looking at, up some of their stuff and their website was down. So my fire is still going here, so that's good. I have my coffee. Having my coffee is even better. So I was able to get it going. It took me the first try, about seven minutes. I had basically everything set up for the second try. Still took me about 10 minutes, but I got it. Fooled around with it. So Mason over there at McCartney Survival, thank you. Hopefully this works for you. If not, get back to me and uh, I'll try it a different way for you. But that was left-handed. I'm a right-handed person. So it works. Okay, guys, uh, there's something for you to try. I'm going to obviously have to keep practicing this um, without these pants on because I'm covered now. I'm going to get beat up when I get home by my wife. So, anywho, there's throw down to you guys. Try doing it with your off hand. And uh, keep going down, keep going up out of the way. Uh, try doing it with your off hand, keep practicing it. Uh, I didn't practice it before I came out. Um, because let's face it, I, I had never even thought about trying it with one hand, uh, my off hand. Uh, never thought about it, but it only makes sense if you're trucking around out in the woods, if you fall down to, you know, everybody stumbles one time. You know, you could just be climbing over a piece of log. Shoelace gets stuck, whatever. Could take you down. If you fall, odds are if you're right-handed, you're putting your right hand down to break your fall. That's when you're going to get hurt. And I think all of us have been hurt out here at one time. Whether it just be scrapes and scratches, that's why we all know we wear glasses when we're bushwhacking. Uh, little things like that, you know, wear glasses while you're out here. Uh, whenever I'm walking, I've always got a pair of glasses on. Doesn't matter how dark it is. Um, I've come close. I've got a stick right across the eye. Uh, we've all had the, you know, sticks in our face when we're out bushwhacking. You know, meandering around the bushes but it's good to be safe so left-handed practice it try it do it um, send it either to observer Canadian or uh, McCartney survival uh, he'll want to hear from you and I'll want to hear from it too all right good luck to you guys uh, Canadian observer